Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to continue our journey with VPC service controls. In the previous video that you can find somewhere up here, we discussed the perimeter, what is a service perimeter, and how to create one, how to protect resources. Today we're going to see uh, how we can use Access Context Manager to be a bit more strict with our rules. But before we start, if you're new, my name is Anto and this is Out of DevOps, a YouTube channel where I talk about software engineering and uh, cloud technologies. So if you're interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. So now, without further ado, let's see what we have done in the... Let's quickly recap what we have done in the previous video and uh, then we start from there. So the project perimeter is a organization resource and the, it lives under the organization. So you must have an organization to play with it and lives under security. And you can look at the VPC service controls that's where we have the perimeter defined and uh, you can have multiple perimeters. So this is the one we have. If we click on rare mode, the UI is a bit nicer. So we can look at this. This is the definition of our perimeter and the one that we have enforced. It's exactly the same we had last time. So this one, if you remember, is blocking any calls coming from identities that are not inside the blue project, which means if we are running with a service account, even if, if the service account is from the blue project, uh, it won't be able to access the red project unless you're running from a resource that lives in the project, for example, a VM. So this means if I have a service account key outside, it's not, uh, not going to work. So to demo this, um, I have, we can uh, go to the terminal. So this is a continuation of the previous video. So in uh, here, I still have the calls I've done before. So if I try to call, nothing changed. We can still see that the um, API is returning 403. And the reason is because there is a, an organization policy, which is the VPC perimeter. So now let's see if we can allow this service account to work from a specific machine or from a specific country. So to do that, what we can do, we can introduce the Access Context Manager. So Access Context Manager is uh, still under security and here we can configure uh, specific rules. So now I'm going to open this I already created one. I have created one that is called my IP and the condition includes the uh, subnet slider for uh, uh, that includes my IP and we can add additional um, conditions like geographic locations and access level dependencies. So let's see, um, I can add, I am working from UK, so I can do United Kingdom. So now we have two conditions that must pass. So this means if any IP from this range and uh, the call comes from the United Kingdom, then uh, we want to allow. So that's why we have the condition is met returns true. So now we can save this. By saving this, we, we didn't change the perimeter configuration. We, to do that, we need to go in VPC service controls and then open the perimeter. We can edit this and under access levels, we can specify the rule. So we can add this access level apply only to request for protected resources coming from outside the perimeter. So we click this and we say, okay. So now the other thing we need to do, we need to go in the ingress policy and we need to add the source. So we want to allow any identity that lives inside the project and also any identity that um, is aligned with the access level that we have specified. So you can select my IP, you can say OK now. So this will probably take a couple of minutes um, until uh, Google syncs with the uh, with the perimeter config. So we are in dry run mode, so we need to enforce the perimeter. We can see the changes. We are referencing the access level uh, policy that we created. So we enforce it. 
So this will now take uh, a couple of minutes until it uh, syncs with the with the Google API, and we can try to see if this is uh, working or not. So if I hit this here, uh, we are still getting blocked. And as you can see now, we have access again. So as you can see, this is extremely powerful and uh, will definitely make happy the security specialist in your organization because now even if you give the credential to someone, you can specify additional conditions that can block that um, credentials from operating. So you can specify uh, conditions such as the geographies or the IPs, but uh, the, the, there are also more advanced use cases for the premium version of the VPC service controls where you can specify the machine type or the uh, updates that the machine has. So you can disable the access from an unauthorized machine or an uh, unauthorized operating system. And um, this is uh, probably a unique feature in the among the cloud providers. I think only Google Cloud provides this at the moment. And uh, hopefully we are going to see uh, the other cloud providers offering something like this in the future. So that's it for now. In the next video, I will show you how you can debug the requests that are failing in the VPC service control. I had to do quite a lot to make these videos, so uh, I think it's worth to um, play a little bit with them and uh, show how I did some debugging. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing and see you in the next one. Bye bye.